This is the all right. A quick look at the neutral zone trap. Uh, one two two. Um, the first player in F1 is responsible for steering, um, and the basic premise of this of this neutral zone trap is that the inside of the ice is protected, um, and what we're trying to do is force the other team to the outside uh, by using F1 to steer them. So here's one, and there's two and two, and the defensemen should be lined up uh, a little bit more inside. Uh, forward should be lined up on basically on the dots, N no further out. They need to start in the middle and work their way over. Um, F1 is really important. He needs to keep his stick um, basically in one hand to give himself a lot of range. As he comes down and he decides which way he's going to steer, his stick trails to take away passing lanes. Okay, That's all this is, is preventing a pass. Okay, so the first basic premise is that the other team takes the puck out or passes it out on a break breakout, normal quick up breakout. So let's just go ahead and do that for this case and we'll do it to the right. Okay, we allow, we allow them to make that play as we sit here waiting. Okay, we allow them to set up behind the net with a puck. We allow them to have their center curling, whatever whatever motion they want. But we're ap after this attack, so we instantly say to them, "Okay, you can come over here, and we're going to give you one side of the ice." So we've now split the area of responsibility that we have here. So it's awesome. So the second that we give them that, right now. We're saying, okay, you can operate on this half. Okay? So that's the purpose of, of doing that. All right? Now, in reality, we're also saying that we only want them to utilize uh, an area even smaller than that. We're basically saying we're going to give you this area to operate. All right? So this is the area that we're trying to get them into okay small space takes away their options and sometimes will make them cough up the puck and we we basically do this near the blue line so that we can get some turnovers that might get an offensive chance alright so either way this is very common uh, I'm sure you guys are old enough to know this but let's just go over it this guy, you know, very important skater, got to be a good checker, team player, okay? He's protecting this weak side at the same time as he's forcing like this, okay? This guy then seals down, okay? F3 comes over, okay, to take away passing lanes on the back door. Okay, he's he's able to jump right here if this guy tries to get something over. Okay, so uh, this D will come in support, and this far D will kind of retreat, and I'll show you why he he does that. All right, let's let's move this all ahead. We've got our trap. Now this guy's options are extremely limited. Um, one thing he could do is he could make a stupid pass over here, which F3 is going to pick off. Okay, or he could try to do a chip pass like this. If he does that, then our defenseman's going to go get it. It's going to be easy, easy change of possession right there. Okay, let's put him back. Okay, so likely. He's not going to make either one of these stupid plays, but he's going to do a dump. Okay, sometimes he's going to look for a hard around like this, hoping that this winger he has over here, the far winger that's not being utilized, can beat us into that puck on the hard around, okay? And that's the reason for this D coming over okay now if it's not a hard around and it's just a dump over here or a dump 
across a chip dump, he's there also. Okay, so he's got to be he's got to be able to retrieve. Okay, he's he's our um, outfielder. Okay, and he's out there, you know, waiting to regain possession after the trap. Okay, so if it happens over here. F1 steers here, F3 drops down, F2 drops, and it's just a reverse of this, okay? It's, like I said, at your age, you should probably already be familiar with this, um, but it, we have to know it, and everyone, every single person needs to know it, okay, and be able to do it.